today I will be using the mason jar method of classifying soil texture. This is a safe and relatively quick method of determining soil texture. So the first thing that I'm going to do is find my sample location. You can see here that I am just beside a schoolyard along a fence by this sidewalk and I'm going to do my soil sample just along the edge right here. When you're digging, make sure that you're not getting any of this leafy and plant material in with your soil sample or any rocks or sticks you're not going to want. And you can see here that I have just the soil. Just based off of looking at the soil, I would say that it contains a lot of sand. It's not staying together the way that a soil with a higher amount of clay would. You can see here that I have one cup of my soil sample and that I've made sure to remove any rocks or any other debris. As I mentioned, we are doing the mason jar soil test. So the next thing that we're going to do now that we've collected our soil from outside is we're going to fill our mason jar up with one cup of soil. The next step is going to be adding three tablespoons of water softener or liquid dish soap or laundry detergent powder. And the point of adding this detergent is to coat all of the granules so that they will settle overnight after we shake them according to grain size. Next, we're going to fill the mason jar two-thirds full with tap water. And then put the lid on. We're going to time ourselves shaking the jar for five minutes. And now we're just going to leave the jar on a flat surface for at least 24 hours. This will allow time for all of the finer particles to settle to the bottom. So one day in here, and you can see that the water is still very cloudy. There's still a lot that needs to settle to the bottom, so I'm going to wait before taking my measurements. I've waited another day, and you can see the water is a bit less cloudy than yesterday. Here you can see how I calculated the percents for this soil sample. Sand is the coarsest layer and is at the bottom, and clay is the finest layer at the top. It may be difficult to determine where the silt layer begins and ends, so just do your best. Also do your best to line up the zero of the ruler with the bottom of where the sand is in your jar. Now we can use the soil texture triangle to determine the name classification that these percentages fall under. You can see that 82% sand, 12% silt, and 6% clay leads to the classification loamy sand. Thank you for watching this video on using the mason jar method of classifying soil texture.